What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJP1 here with the final stance. Uh, so, how many of you guys out there are uh, true crime addicts, or you listen to the true crime podcasts, or you just watch, you like to watch documentaries and and stuff on true crime? I'm guilty as charged on that. Uh, I love watching documentaries. Uh, on uh, true crime so is my wife she likes to listen to uh, some of the true crime podcasts uh, so I was watching uh, one, a true crime documentary on Netflix called American Murder The Family Next Door it's about uh, Chris Watts and his family And I honestly think this dude is one of the biggest uh, pieces of shit that has ever walked this planet. He so calmly and eloquently is just like, I don't know where they're at. I'm just so heartbroken. Even when he gets caught in a lie. From the polygraph test and the detective and the person that issued the test basically was like, dude, you're full of shit. We got you did the rights. He still tries to lie his way out of it. And then not only that, blames his dead wife for killing their kids. And then he's like, oh, I snapped. I couldn't help myself like da 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 like this is just oh my god no dude you're a piece of trash who lost some weight and got in shape and found an uglier girl than his wife and wanted that life And instead of, you know, being a man about it and, you know, getting divorced and all that, he's like, nope, you know what? I want this new life. I'm going to kill my family. I'm going to kill my wife, who's pregnant, by the way. She's 15 or 16 weeks pregnant with a baby boy. So I'm going to kill her and my unborn child. And I'm gonna to I'm gonna kill my two beautiful innocent little children, my two uh, baby girls. I, I I don't understand uh, the thought process. I don't understand his rationality behind it. So he kills his wife. And mind you, he works for an oil company. All right. So <laughs> he kills his wife. Then he loads up his family into his truck. He drives out to uh, the work site where he's working buries his wife then kills his two daughters and dumps them in a big 20 gallon oil barrel or some shit like that oh sorry no 20 foot oil barrel he just dumps them and then to hear him recap he he's like i'm so torn up every day i hear my daughter saying daddy no Well, yeah, because you're a piece of shit and you killed your family because you wanted to be single when you could have just, you know, divorced your wife because judging from the text messages that she had on her phone, she easily would have given him because he's just showing no interest in her at all. And... I I don't know. 
do you guys ever just get like so like oh my god enamored with a case that you're just like give me five minutes like give me five minutes of this person like this is uh anytime kids get involved it makes my blood boil Because those poor babies didn't ask for that. They didn't do anything wrong. It's just... I don't know. And... The fact that he was so smug about it... When... uh, He first... When they first started investigating... He had went over with a, a... Detective over to his neighbor's house because his neighbor has uh, outside video cameras and they were looking over the footage to see if they could find anything. And he's just like willy-nilly checking his phone, rocking back and forth. You know, like, you can tell he doesn't want to be there. He's not really looking at the TV screen or anything of that nature, really. He's definitely not acting like a man whose wife and children are missing. It's more along the lines of a man who's like, okay, let's get this over with. Like, you know, let's do this. Because I've been that way. Not with my wife and, you know, I don't have any children yet. But, like, you know how you get in a situation where, like, you don't want to do anything? Like, you don't want to do something. So then you're like, all right, let's just do this. Let's get it over with. And you like half ass it. So like you look like you're you're paying attention or like you're there, but really you're just like in your own little world, like, alright, let's let's go through the motions, let's get this over with. That's what he was looking like. Like it didn't really matter. But I don't know. Um, I guess he's serving life in prison. Where he belongs. Hopefully he's getting his just due in there. Knowing his punk ass. He's probably in like PC or something. To where he's not even. Out there. Like getting what he deserves. Uh, If you guys have any others. That you recommend. Please comment or let me know. Uh, I'm. All about watching uh true crime documentaries and stuff i'm gonna try and talk about them a lot more i want to do an episode on the crispin wall case because i have some interesting theories about that uh because in a way it's kind of similar to this but not but I will definitely be doing one on the Crispin Wall case here soon. Uh, BS, please let me know of any uh, that are out there that you guys like or recommend. Uh, definitely, I, I watched, you know, The Making a Murderer. Now I'm watching Convicting a Murderer, which is basically what Netflix didn't want you to see. Um, so that's really interesting. I'm going to go in detail on that whenever this last part gets released this week and I give it a watch. Um, also a good one, uh, if anyone has Max, go watch the West Memphis 3. That's, uh, what's it called? Paradise Lost is what it's called. It's a three-part series, and it's it's long, but it is very, very good. Uh, there's some interesting things with that one as well. Um, but, yeah, that's I'll probably do one about that too. So I just want to hop on here, uh, kind of talk about the Chris Watts thing with you guys for a little bit and uh, see what you guys thought about it, what's your take on it. Um, 
I, I don't understand how I'm, I don't have any children, but I have nieces and nephews. And I know it's not the same as having your own kids. Trust me, I'm not saying that it is. But I don't see how a man can kill a child. Especially your own flesh and blood. Like, I I don't know. I don't see how you can kill your wife either, but... I mean, who hasn't had an argument with their spouse and they're just like, oh my gosh, like, get away from me. But, like... To murder your wife and your children just so it's now okay for you to bang your mistress because she doesn't really want kids. Okay? That's no reason to do that. Like, I don't know what in his mind thought that he would be able to get away with it because it's pretty much damn near impossible Nowadays, to get away with murder, um, but we'll see what happens. I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys about that real quick, and uh, hope you all have a good day. I'll probably be coming back on here later today with some more info, some more true crime. Um, probably come on with a raw recap because I'm going to watch um, the Hulu version of Monday Night Raw from last night. Um, oh, big ups to my to my team, the Minnesota Vikings. How about that last night? Pulling off a dub against the freaking 49ers. It's insane. We had no one picking us to win that game. It's primetime Kirk Cousins. The 49ers, no one was going to pick us. They're the second best team. (sighs) Man, going into last night, they had had the opportunity to be called the best team in the NFL. Uh, But with what they've got going on, second best team in the NFC. Uh freaking crazy I cannot believe we won that game um but that's amazing the season's not over yet uh we still have a shot I'm loving it so I'm riding the high off not only a win but a win against a possible Super Bowl team so like that's 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 good for us to be uh, building our ego on so big ups to them Jordan Addison had an amazing game last night TJ Hawkinson did his thing we need a running back I know the Chiefs just traded back for Michael Hardman so why not the Vikings just trade back for Dalvin Cook like honestly he fit well with our offense and as much as I hate to say it, Alexander Madison is not a, an RB1. He can't carry the load. He's not a, an RB1. So we need to get somebody in there that is. Um, I'm glad we didn't sign Zeke. I'm glad we didn't sign Kareem Hunt. Uh, but Cam Akers isn't really doing it either. So I think it's it's time for them to to suck it up and try and get Dalvin Cook back. The Jets have made the the offer that they would be willing to hear what people is offering for him. So why not? They're not using him. Why not bring him home? He looks better in purple anyway. Uh, but yeah, I just want to talk about that real quick. I'm riding the high of. Uh, of a freaking huge win last night. Um, so that's that's great. It's good to see that we can actually play when we want to play. And we can compete with anybody out there. Because 
being the 49ers proves that you can compete with any team out there. I, I take beating the 49ers more valuable than beating the Eagles. Honestly. I think their de- I think the 49ers defense is better than Phillies. I think the quarterbacks are just as good. Uh I think the wide receiving core is just as good, if not better. Like they're pretty even. But for some reason I'm I, I'll take beating the 49ers over beating the Eagles. Both teams have been our kryptonite for what seems to be forever. Uh, I, I'm i getting sick to death of... And I, and I think it, it goes with Eagles, Eagles fans. I, I get sick to death of hearing about how amazing Jalen Hurts is considering it was just right before last season they were like oh we're we 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 want him gone we're we're done with him now he's the greatest thing since sliced bread hey like, come on now but anyway I'm not gonna harp on the NFL um, I just wanted to uh, talk about the Vikings awesome win last night um we're not out yet so there's still some life in us but uh i'll hop on here later talk to you guys about some more things i hope everybody has a great day uh i'll talk to y'all later peace